For years, we thought that the brain cells or neurons that you have at birth were the only ones that you would have for the rest of your life. No new neurons were created after birth. But in the last few decades, we've discovered that you actually grow new brain cells as an adult, a process called adult neurogenesis. And this only happens in one area of the brain in humans called the hippocampus. Hi, I'm Dr. Maria Conley. Today, I'm going to talk about one of the most interesting areas of your brain known as the hippocampus, which is Latin for a seahorse. In fact, Thinking of your hippocampus as your inner seahorse is a good way to remember it. Later, we'll see how neurons are born in the hippocampus throughout life. So what is a neuron? There are two types of cells in your brain. Neurons, which carry signals, and glia, which are supporting cells. They are packed into your three-pound brain like trees in a dense forest. Each individual neuron consists of a cell body, axon, and dendrites. The cell body contains DNA. The axon transmits an action potential to another neuron, much like a cable carries an electrical signal. The dendrites receive signals from other neurons. The specific type of neuron that is created throughout life is a granule cell. It is located in the dentate gyrus of the hippocampus. Lying in the center of your brain, the hippocampus is a densely packed layer of neurons. On a coronal section, it's coiled into an S shape, looking almost like a jelly roll. Imagine going inward from your ear until you meet the middle of your head, and that is where the hippocampus lies. Julius Caesar Arantius, a 16th century anatomist, was the first to call the structure hippocampus in his 1587 book on brain anatomy. The hippocampus looks very similar in many mammalian species. In fact, adult hippocampal neurogenesis was first discovered in rats. Since then, this process has been seen in several animals, including songbirds, monkeys, and even in humans. The hippocampus is important for forming new memories and for performing tasks that involve spatial intelligence. It is the first part of the brain to fail in Alzheimer's dementia. This explains why individuals with Alzheimer's dementia can get lost in previously familiar surroundings and have difficulty with short-term memory. If we were to zoom in on this densely packed layer of neurons lying in the middle of your brain, we would see that it's divided into different regions that are folded into that S shape. The dentate gyrus, CA1, CA2, and CA3, the subiculum, and finally, the entorhinal cortex. Really, the more accurate term for this area of the brain would be the hippocampal formation. Again, adult-born neurons are only found in the dentate gyrus region. So what is the purpose of these neurons that are created throughout life? What can you do to grow more neurons as an adult? There is a lot we don't know about the whole process of adult hippocampal neurogenesis. We'll talk more about it in the next lecture. Thank you for listening. I hope this is helpful for you.